this press briefing has been done to uh, tell you about a very unfortunate event that happened today early morning and uh, what steps we took how uh, police has investigated this case and what was the incident uh, so today at around uh, 3 uh, at uh, around uh, 3 o'clock in the morning uh, police station lay had received an uh, information that a lady namely uh, sevang dolma daughter of tundu paljur uh, resident of achina thang uh, presently staying at uh, shenam uh, she was found murdered uh, in her house and um, the police was informed accordingly so when this information was received uh, sho lay inspector sonam rigzin uh, he informed uh, uh, SH, uh, Inspector Rigzin Gurmit, who is the in charge of housing colony, and uh, both the police parties they started towards uh, the scene of crime to see the spot. And uh, accordingly, FIR uh, 149, uh, one FIR number 149 of the year 2022, under section 302, was registered, and uh, investigation was started. So, in the early morning at 3 o'clock, uh, within 5 minutes, the police party had reached the spot and uh, we started inquiring about uh, the antecedents of the persons who are living around, uh, what can be the motive for the lady to be murdered like this. The, when the body was found, it was uh, covered in blood near the face and uh, a lot of scuffle had taken place in the room. So, which made us believe that it is a pure murder case and not any suicide or any other uh, kind of case. Soon, a uh, police party was, uh, investigation was led by uh, DSP headquarters, um, Rigzin Sanduk. He, along with all the police personnel, uh, reached the spot and uh, started inquiring about the lady and who else was there or who can be the person who was in contact with her. And uh, there was this name of a person called uh, Rigzin Dawa, son of uh, Murup Stanzin, resident of Shenam. This person is 32 years old and uh, he has been uh, uh, known for his notoriety. Although there is no official police complaint about this person, uh, but uh, in, in the locality during the incident, uh, people were saying his name also, that uh, he is a grey character, you can check on him. So accordingly, we dispatched the police party to his house uh, in Shenam only, which is not very far from the victim's house. And uh, when uh, we found him in his room, um, he uh, he was not uh, wearing much clothes. And uh, there were certain things that led us uh, the suspicion on the person. Uh, when we found him, there was a patch of blood on his uh, leg and uh, scratch marks around his neck and shoulder as well. So, uh, when we asked uh, why uh, these kind of marks are there on his body or what ha he has been doing, so he became aggressive and started defending by shouting and all. So, it uh, strengthened our suspicion more. Uh, then we again went to the scene of the crime and uh, it was found that a very bad scuffle has taken place and the lady has been killed by, um, uh, uh, by stopping her breathing, uh, by choking her throat and uh, uh, she was also raped uh, the, the lower part of the body clothes were missing and uh, it was subsequently a case of rape and murder uh, when we found this person uh, uh, we started questioning him and uh, initially he has confessed about this crime and he said that he uh, entered the house of the lady at around uh, 1 30 at the night and he had committed the act and left from there uh, further, the remand has taken uh, uh, remand has been taken today only. So, sustained interrogation regarding the motive, regarding why he has chosen this lady, um, will be uh, taking place, and more information will be so sought after this. Important evidences related to the uh, DNA and the uh, blood uh, has been collected from the spot. FSL team was called. Uh, the our uh, uh, tracking dog was also called. Uh, to find f um, further evidences, we found uh, the underpants of the accused near the scene of crime in the house of the lady, which is a very crucial evidence, and uh, we have sealed it for further uh, forensic examination. So, right now, uh, we have got the accused, and more or less the case has been solved. Uh, further investigation will be uh, done for regarding the linking of evidences and the chain of events. 
uh, and uh, FSL report is to be awaited. So if you have any questions, uh, you can ask one by one. Ma'am, was the accused under the influence of alcohol or any other drug? Um, he said that he had taken alcohol, but we have not verified it. I mean, uh, this is his version, but we have not verified. So when we have found, he was fine. Ma'am, is it okay to reveal the name of the victim? Um, for the uh, POXO cases and for the minors, it is banned. It is up to you if you do not want to uh, name the victim, it is okay. But uh, for the minors, it is not allowed. Ma'am, one more question. Uh, yeah. uh, this is uh, about the case, uh, POXO case related to Ling Shet. Mm -hmm. uh, it happened in somewhere in July in Ling Can you just brief us about the case, how the police has to, uh, taken the action yeah. against the culprit? It, it has been caught or not? Uh, yes, uh, the accused has been arrested in the Lingshet, the POXO case as well. Um, because you know that Lingshet is a very remote area. So, uh, we got to know about the incident very uh, late. I mean, it also happened in the uh, dead of the night at between uh, 3 to 4 a.m. And then the police got to know about at 8 a.m. and then the party was dispatched. Investigation was done and all the evidences were also collected. And we found the accused uh, residing nearby the school itself. And he was he's a Nepali laborer and um, he was caught with the help of villagers in Dipling as well.